Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now we have got <laughs> some happy mail and this box is covered in smiley faces. When the postman left this, he said it brightened up his day and it's going to keep him smiling. And Mutley is like this because this is from my friend Sue Cuthbert. And <laughs> Mutley knows there's a bag of treats in there. Look at Mutley. Look. Yeah, what's in this? What's in the box? So between wanting the treats in the box and wanting the box to play with. Now, just ignore the Aldi sign. Uh, my friend Sue had a bit of a clear out and she sent this. So I'm going to open up this. That bit's opened anyway. We'll just slice up this tape. Give it a little snip. Across here, <laughs> listen, Motley. Get that open. That's sticky down. What's this? Eh, what do you think? There's something in here for you. Is there? Look at Motley. Keep this so we can see Motley as well. Look at Motley. Before we do this, Happy Meal, I want to show you this. We got some mugs done. Now, if you look at the bottom of the video, there's little pictures that run along the bottom of the video and it's called merchandise and YouTube have opened an area where you can get merchandise. Now we've got the lovely Mutley on this side of the mug and look what's on this side. It's got my name on it and it's got I'm hooked to you. Mutley's hooked. Look at Mutley. This is you Mutley. Look on your little promo mug. And when these get sold, Mutley and I get a little bit of commission. Well, Mutley's going to get the commission. I'm not going to get the commission. Mutley's going to get the commission. And if any commission is made on it, there'll be a little bit. And then we're going to save it up and get Mutley a nice new winter coat and a new lead. Yes, yeah, we're going to get you some things and some toys. Yes, and a new bed. <laughs> because Mutley's kind of the star and a lot of the happy meals and so if you look at the bottom of the video you'll see it running along the bottom there's um, a mug there's a couple of bags you can keep your yarn in that and it's desperate for me to get this open and I've got my name on this side there's also another one that just says uh, it's got a ball of yarn on it and it just says my name and you can have a look, you can go have a look. I really appreciate it if anybody decides to buy a nice coffee mug or for your tea. I'm going to pop that there or you can even just keep your crochet hooks in it as well. So let's get this opened and <laughs> yes, you know there's something in there. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at the colour of that orange. That's beautiful. Wait a wee minute. Wait a wee minute. <laughs> oh, big bag of treats. I'm going to give Motley one because he's just so desperately waiting. He's waiting down there. Look at him there. He loves these getting these. go there's a treat for you there you go <laughs> that's Motley I'll be happy for a little while so let's have a look and see what is in this box we'll have a little look and see oh look at the color of this how bright is that with the sunshine coming in my window over there that is so bright Look how bright that is. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, this is Signet and it's double knitting. Look at this, so soft. The colour of it is Jaffa. Perfect Jaffa orange. That's exactly what it looks like. It looks like Jaffa oranges. That is beautiful. If you've got any ideas of what you could use this, then leave a little comment in the bottom. It is be beautiful with white. It's beautiful and soft. And it's got that lovely sheen in it as well. If you can see that, that shine, it's beautiful. It's 100% acrylic. 
it's telling you to use a US 4 or 6 crochet hook. I think with this I would use a 5mm, a 4.5 or a 5mm crochet hook. That is brilliant. I'm going to pop them. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. I'll put them in my box that I've got down here. And uh, there's five and there's six. Look at that. It's going to make a beautiful, bright, bright blanket. Oh, look at this. Oh, I've got some crochet. Oh, look at that. Wow, look at that. We'll have a look in here. What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? <laughs> I've got my leg jumping up. What you after? Go get your ball. The way he gets his ball. Oh, look at these. What are these? Oh, look, it's little twisty hairpins. Look at that. I did these on my channel. There is a video on the channel with this. Look at that. That is so pretty. It's brilliant. And then there's a little one. That's lovely. It's a thinner one. That is beautiful, Sue. I'm going to pop them up to the side. And then there's this one. These are brilliant. These are headbands. You put them around your head. If you go jogging with a, a bauble. That's lovely. What's that way? They're beautiful. And you can, ma you can make these. There is a video on my channel for these. That is lovely. Look at that. That yarn's beautiful. And then there's this purple one. Oh, I like the way you've done that one. Just winding the yarn around and making a cross in the middle. That's lovely. Look at that. It's a V-stitch. So pretty. It just shows you what you can make with a very simple stitch. They're brilliant, Sue. Thank you so much. And I'll pop that into my... Oh, look at this. Wow. That is so soft as well. It's a little bit there for it. Shipsies Panda Sparkle Black and Gold. You find something to make with that. Sometimes if you get a ball of yarn and you don't know what to do with it, if you Google the name of it, there's usually a lot of ideas where other people have made things out of that. I think maybe like a like a stole or something for the evening would be really pretty that is beautiful there's two oh there's more of that so i'm going to pop that down there and there's another one let's have a look what this is made out of there uh, it's a hundred percent polyester it doesn't tell you a much more color is three five four it's a sheepsies but if you even go onto their website and they'll show you things that have been made out of all of their yarn. I really like that. And there's four balls of it. Oh, look what's down here. <gasps> look at that one. I'll give us a wee tip over. Oh, look at that. Maple. I have never seen that before. It's called Amethyst. And what they want in the bag. Now the light is going to go in and out a little bit because it is actually really cloudy outside. It's really cloudy, so it's going light and then going a little bit dark. This one is called Amethyst. Let's put that back under there. It's colour number 18. Maple Euro Baby. This is so soft. I wonder if that's that. That kind of looks the same colours, doesn't it? That's so pretty. Oh, I need to try my next blanket out in that. That is so lovely. It's so soft. I think it's 100 grams. It's 100 grams. That's 262 yards, if you work in yards. It's a medium weight 4, and it's 240 metres. 
and there's 3.52 ounces in this, 100% polyester. But look at those colours in there. They are absolutely beautiful. Now, there's one, there's two, and there's another one. Look at that. That is beautiful. So, thank you so, so much. That is absolutely amazing. I've never seen that before. I've never seen that before. I'll pop them into my box. Now, the reason I've got a box down here, it's a plastic box, and Motley just does not play. He doesn't play with the plastic boxes. He likes his cardboard ones, and that's what he's waiting around for. And that is beautiful, and it is so, so soft. It really is. So let's see what else is in here. Well, that's lovely. I think that's a James C. Brett. There's no label that's come off. That's pretty. That's a beautiful colour. I'm sure I've got one of these already, and I'm sure it's a James C. Brett. This. It's a double knitting anyway. And it's really soft. It's really soft. That is beautiful. Look at this. Oh, curiosity. That is a beautiful. Look at that. There's oh, there's another one. So I've moved, I've moved my box a little bit. These are absolutely beautiful. This is called Curiosity. The color is ocean. It's called it, the color is ocean. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the colors in that, and some of it has got that white through it that is stunning i love that what's in this there's 150 grams in each ball it's telling you to use a four a millimeter crochet hook <laughs> listen to him you can chuff away all you want you've had a treat you have the box you want the box look at that cute little face look at this do you want the box Oh yeah, you're just watching. You're just going to watch just now. So Motley's just going to watch until we're finished. <laughs> that is absolutely beautiful. Now this is by King Cole and it's called Curiosity. It's mm -hmm. absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I love that. I'm going to pop that to the side. And it's soft. I can't imagine how soft that is. It is so, so soft. It's beautiful. I love that. So thank you so much. Thank you so much. There is a paint box. It's a simple <laughs> chunk. Uh, listen, I'm <laughs> what is it? You get the box in a minute. So there's a, a hundred grams in this. It's really soft. It's a beautiful colour. It's the number is three four three for this. There is no colour name on it that is beautiful i'm going to go just a little shade clear look at this oh my goodness there's a lovely ball of this i don't worry if you send anything like that i've got a wool winder to wind it up that is lovely i love the color in that it's like one of those little cotton balls of cotton i'm going to pop that down to the side I've forgotten about multi pinch in the bag. Oh, look. You are kidding. Look at these. A whole pack of the bag bases. Thank you so much, Sue. That is absolutely brilliant. These are great for making crochet bags. There is a pink one. They're slightly different from the ones that I was using. There's brown ones. There's a darker brown, a beige, and a black. That's brilliant. Thank you so much. That is brilliant. Thank you so much. I'll need to do some more bags and do some more stitches on them to show you that you can do these bags. And um, There is a couple of videos as well with me doing a couple of these using these bases. That is brilliant. Thank you so much. My goodness. I'll put them to the side. We'll have a look at this. That is so pretty. I think that's some of that. Look at that. Ice cream. It's called ice cream. I'm going to take that one out of the bag. I'll leave that down here just now. 
because I'm sure you know who likes to put his ball into the bag for this. Where's your ball? Where's your ball? <laughs> He's got his ball ready, look. Right, there we go. Right. I'll put that in there. Now I'll make a little hole in it, just for safety. And we're going to try it. And this is what Motley Blues was. Boxes and bags. And there we go. And you'll just run around with that. There you go. <laughs> There you go, so <laughs> he's off and happy. <laughs> oh, look at this. Right, there's one of these, and there's a little bit, there's a little bit over it. It's really soft. That is so soft, and I love the colours in that. It is called ice cream. I'll pop that one down to the side, and it's Lion Brand. Oh, there's over 8,000 free patterns on Lion Brand's website. That is brilliant. I think what I'll do is I'm going to find some free websites for you. And I'll put the links in the, bo in the description box. I'll put some links into some of the yarn companies. Well, this one has got Lion Brand and there's over 8,000 free patterns. And I know that you can download them onto your laptop or your computer. Now, this is 3.5 ounces, that's 100 grams. 394 yards, that's 360 meters. It's 100% acrylic. It's telling, to, it's telling you to use a 5 millimeter crochet hook. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at the colours. And that that is beautiful. It's called ice cream, and it really does look like I, I haven't seen grey ice cream right enough. <laughs> but look at that, that is brilliant. It's a lightweight three yarn, it says. This one is called Cookies and Cream. It's called Cookies and Cream. That is brilliant. Look at that. I love that. I love that. And there's some a bag of cotton oh look at this oh there's some patterns down in there as well i'll open this up i love these bags moonbeam style craft moonbeam look at that that is so pretty i've got a few balls of this in a light pink that i got from my friend claire and you need to use a really small crochet hook for this but it does crochet up lovely. I'll need to use this one's called Silver Lining. That'll be really nice with the pink that I've got. I've got a few balls of this. It's pink. That is, oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think there's about ten balls in there. There's about ten. And then there's a few of this one. I'll pop that one back in there. And there's a few of this Sheepsies. Oilyphante, I take it that means elephant. That is pretty. Look at that. It's really thin though, but it'll you can double it up and crochet with it. It'll make something really dainty if you mix that with something else that's maybe white. It's a 50 gram ball. There's 200 meters in it. It's 100 percent acrylic. And the colour on this one, it's got a black dot, but it's not actually black. And there's all their colours there. Look at that. This one, it says it's actually number, I would go with number 10. And it's strange that it's got a black dot, but it's a burgundy. That is beautiful. Thank you so much, Sue. Now, I'm going to dig these patterns out. I'll put that just down at my side. Right, let's have a look. Oh, that's pretty. That's lovely. Now, I collect a lot of old patterns. I collect a lot of old ones. That is really nice. I think that's knitting. Knit two, purl two. That's a, that's a knitting pattern. It's still pretty. But you can use that style and you can change it to crochet. You can do something very similar. 
like that for crochet and I'll put that back in the box oh is there more than one pattern in it Making up the yoke. It's just it done in a different colour. I'm going to put that in there. This is really pretty. Oh, I like that. Look at that. Oh, put that there. <laughs> Wind the ear one size. That's knitting. I can knit. I do. I do knit. I do knit. I can do it. That is so pretty. I like the style of that triangle. I'm going to pop that into that box. And we've got easy knit. And who knows that um, if I can't use these patterns, I can always find someone. There's a knitting group in the town that I'm in. And one of the ladies in the knitting group actually lives across the road. She lives across the road from me. And she she'll love these she's gonna love these i always find someone to pass things on to oh that is lovely look at that west yorkshire spinners that's lovely that's so nice and then there's some arm warmers and a little hat a floppy ridge beanie hat and mitts. Is that a knitting one? That's lovely. And have we done that one already? Oh, that's a that's a little second one. The same one. Two copies of that and that. <laughs> that's okay because the lady that lives across the road from me, she's in. Like I said, she's in a, a knitting a knitting group. And even though with COVID on, they do like video each other, and that's great that there's two copies of some of these because she can, she can dish them out. And there's this one. That's lovely. It's really thin yarn that one's made with. Wendy ear. I think I'm a more here. Oh, that's pretty. Look at that. I remember my mum had lots and she had bags and bags and bags of patterns. That's nice, I like that. It's a jumper. Oh, that's nice. It's a shawl. That's pretty. That's plain and knitting. That's really easy. I mean, to do plain and pearl, what's called plain and pearl, it's really, it's quite easy, it's quite basic. And if you can do that stitch, my mother always said, if you can do that stitch, if you can do plain and pearl or even just plain, you can just, you can knit yourself lots and lots of different things. And then there's another one, there's this little hat. And so I think there's another one of those as well. I like that, that's so pretty. And there's some scarves made with really chunky, chunky yarn. That is so chunky, look at that, that is pretty. That's a sardar one. Knit and pearl. Put that in there. One of my nieces does a lot of knitting as well. Her name's Susan. She does a lot of a lot of knitting. That oh that's pretty. Look at that one. That's so nice. My sister June can knit as well. Most of my family can do like basic knitting and basic crochet. That is pretty. I like that. I love the colour of that. That is so pretty. So thank you so, so much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate doing your little D stash. <laughs> I think she was bored and did a D stash. That is brilliant that you sent that to me. And thank you so much for the treats for Muttley as well. The patterns are lovely. And just a little reminder that we do have some merchandise now. If you look at some of the big crochet channels and some of just the general channels on YouTube, they're all selling what they call as merch. And me being a lot older, I'm like, what is merch? And my son had to explain that it's merchandise, it's mugs, and you can do some bags and things. There's t-shirts you can get, there's uh, baby onesies, lots of different things. But Muttley and I have got a mug and a couple of bags, 
and they're down in the bottom of if you look underneath the video it runs along the bottom of the video and it's a company that does it we just send them the pictures and the logos and things but any we'll get a small amount of commission and any of the commission that we get is going to go to monthly it's going to go to monthly and um It'll do them great for like if he needs a new bed or a new coat or some toys, <laughs> some squeaky toys <laughs> and things like that. Here he comes. Are you coming up to say cheerio? Are you going to say cheerio? He's got his ball ready for this box. Are you wanting that? We could put that in there. Look, <gasps> look, it's in your mug. <laughs> Even if you don't want to drink any tea or coffee, with him, you can keep all your crochet hooks in. Look, look. You can keep your crochet hooks in them. It's a brilliant size for keeping your crochet hooks. That's a great crochet hook container as well. And it's got it's got my name on it as well. <laughs> I think these would all prefer Mutley right enough. I'm going to pop that aside. So thank you so, so much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscribe button. And if you click on the bell icon, then there's there <laughs> youtube will tell you right i'm going to take these patterns out and you can get the ball we'll take these out i'll pop them on my shelf and motley can have the box do you want the box motley can have the box what's that all like this is what we do with the box there we go well, there we go right let the ball go then you need to let it go to put it in the box. And there we are. <laughs> I'm just going to pop that down just there, just now. Excuse my little slapper feet. And there we go, Mutley's got his... He's already got a bag over there that he's been wrapping up. <laughs> and this is what he does. It keeps him entertained for a long while. It really does. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And if you click on the bell icon, then YouTube will tell you when I put up another tutorial. So until the next time, happy crafting, and I'll see you all again soon. <laughs> thank you so much, Sue. Motley loves a box, by the way. <laughs>